it's LEGO P3 back with another custom minifigure showcase here. And today I have my custom Mandalorian. And this figure is not really based off anybody specifically, but um, he's just kind of my own design. But I thought I'd give him the name Tarvisla, as in the Tarvisla from Star Wars Rebels, who created the Darksaber and he was the first Mandalorian Jedi. So I just thought that was a cool name to give my figure. So I'm just going to call him Tarvisla. And let's get into this review. So like I said, this figure isn't really based off any character in particular. But we're just going to go through all the details I added onto this figure. And we're just going to start with his legs here. Um, and as you can see, he, he's got these like um, red uh, knee pads that I sculpted on and then painted him red. Um, and as you can see, the overall color scheme of this figure is black, um, silver, and red with some gray. Um, but yeah, so his legs were just um, regular uh, Death Star Trooper legs. And I left the details on there because I thought they were pretty good. So I just left those, those details. Added those knee pads and then I paid some like detail in the front of his shoes. Um, a lot of this figure is based off the Boba Fett figure. So he's pretty similar looking but with some added details. Um, and nothing on the side or back of the legs. But onto the torso. He's got um, quite a bit of sculpting. Um, usually I don't sculpt on my figures all that much, but I decided to you know, give him 3D armor because I thought that would uh, match. So I sculpted that and I painted it silver. And then the middle part of his armor, I, paint, I add that black dot there. Um, yeah, I think so that's pretty accurate. Um, even though, like I said, it's not really based off any specific Mandalorian. All the Mandalorians have that same detail. Um, onto his left arm here, you can see uh, it's got like he's got like a um, a shoulder pad. Um, I just painted it red and added a black dot. I don't think that's an actual symbol or anything, but I just thought it looked cool. And then he's got the famous uh, Mandalorian gauntlets. So all I did for that was I just got these uh, handcuff pieces. Um, they're pretty common. You probably have a pair. So I just cut off the handcuff parts and then I uh, shaved them. And so I made them look smooth, and I painted them and added some detail to make them look like gauntlets. So I think that came out pretty good. Um, other customizers have used that same design technique, so I took that from them. Uh, and then the other arm is pretty much the same. Um, he's got a different symbol on his uh, shoulder art, like shoulder plate, whatever. Uh, it's just a box with a line diagonal cross. Um, and then his gauntlets has a little bit different details. I think those are rockets I just added or something. Maybe a flamethrower or something. I just kind of added, like, um, random things, but I think it came out pretty good. And then his jetpack here, um, this was, like, the main reason I made, I made a Mandalorian figure was I had an extra jetpack, so I decided to make a Mandalorian. So I just painted it black and then you can see the top, it's got the silver tip. So I thought that was a cool touch. And then the bottoms have gold. So I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, and then onto his uh, helmet. So when I decided to make this figure, I didn't have any Mandalorian helmets. So I had to make my own. I didn't really want to buy one. Um, so I just made my own. So this was just a clone trooper helmet. And then I shaved off that like fin on the top. And then uh, I did some um, sanding on the front of the sides and stuff. So I made it look similar. Um, so it looks pretty good, I think. Uh, and they painted it matte black color. Um, and he's got the silver uh, visor or whatever. You can see there. And I just painted some gray on the sides. Um, like I said, this is kind of based off Boba Fett, but it's a different color scheme. So I think it came out pretty good. And then I added uh, on the side here, you can see I just added uh, the Mandalorian uh, visor or something. I don't know what it's called, but I, I can't remember the name. But I add this piece up here, and that can move down. But yeah, and then he's got the Darksaber in his right hand. You can see it's just a regular black katana, Lego katana. But I thought that was pretty accurate. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this. Oh, I actually forgot to move his helmet. It's just a regular face from, uh, I think it was from, uh, I can't remember what set, but it was a Star Wars set. Anyway, so I, I thought that figure, uh, that face looked pretty good on this figure. So 
So I just add that face and that's pretty much it for this figure. So let's just conclude this video. So that's it for my Tar Vistla custom. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm on break right now, so uh, I, I'm going to get this video out this week, and then hopefully this week I also get out one more video of my Goku figure from Dragon Ball Z. Um, so, so hopefully I should have two videos out this week, including this one. So that's it for this uh, sh custom LEGO showcase. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please remember to leave a like. Um, comment down below telling me what you thought of this figure. And subscribe to my channel for more custom LEGO minifigures, and I'll see you guys next time.